These Terrapin wideouts are among the best in the country, right up there with the likes of USC and Ohio State. Four games left for the Roadrunners, and today's game will certainly be the most difficult of those four. UTSA needs senior quarterback Frank Harris to be patient today. Austin Ani has a big arm and a gunslinger mentality. He's going to throw it deep off of play action, and he has a lot of weapons to work with. Twelve different mean green players have caught a touchdown. Nice job up front. Trust McBride. Run it behind his pads. You see Terrell McDonald, the tight end, coming across with a slice block, opening up a little cutback lane there. And then McBride, the strength, the leg drive, lowering the pads. Watch the protection on this deep pass. Look at 28 in red, the running back, James Charles, stepping up, picking up that blitz, giving the Kosi Perry time to let that ball go, and a very accurate throw from Perry to Jaquan Burton to put the Owls up early. How about that block from Bird? The Alabama native. That was a big hit. Look at 13 on the right side of the screen, just oh. blowing up Jalen Key. And that gave McEachern just enough room to move the chains. What did they do well offensively, Charlotte? Early in the game, they did a good job of letting Williams get the ball out of his hands quickly. His receivers were running nice routes on quick slants, getting open, quick hitters, going tempo with the offense. If they can get back to some more of that, if Maryland's going to give it to them, the Terrapins have been trying to take it away with some press coverage. And Williams has done a nice job as well with the second reaction place. UAB is doing two things on defense. One, they're stacking the box to stop the run, and also they're playing off coverage in the back end and not letting North Texas beat them deep, forcing the mean green to take those short passes. Here's Jay Sean Jones. Maryland is going to bring him in motion. No one goes with him. They know they're going to get zone. And watch the block from Rakim Jarrett, number one, just demolishing his guy. And then the juke move from Jones to make one miss and get in the end zone. Watch Elijah Spencer come in motion and watch what that motion does to safety. Grayson Cash. Watch how he has to respond to it and communicate. Spencer going in motion and then the return motion. Cash trying to communicate, get in position. He comes up to play a short pass and Spencer blows right by him for a 60 yard score. I'm guessing you think SEC West is up there too? Give me the SEC West and I know well, Texas A&M is struggling with App State right now so I may have to bite my tongue but the depth of the SEC West. I think if you, you go all the way top to bottom Who's the worst team in the SEC? It might be West? LSU. It's Yeah, right. It might be LSU. It's either Auburn, Mississippi State, or LSU. And I think those three teams are better any day that, than, say, Rutgers or Indiana at the bottom of the Big Ten East.